Friends, it is with a heavy heart and some deep regret that I announced to you that I have switched to Microsoft VS Code. It's actually not all bad. Keep watching and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, by the way, first video with my brand new microphone. Let me know below in the comments if I sound amazing or if I wasted a ton of money for no reason. A little backstory, I've been a long time Atom user and I used it from the day it came out, which I think was around 2014 approximately. It was also the same time Electron came out. Atom Editor was actually the very first Electron product and it was an editor that I jumped on pretty much immediately as a replacement for JetBrains. I think at the time I was using WebStorm. So I used Atom for a while. I was good at it. Why did I switch? Well, Microsoft decided that they're going to sunset Atom. And this kind of made perfect sense. Atom was originally a product of GitHub. As you know, Microsoft bought GitHub and therefore Microsoft also bought Atom. Microsoft at the time had been developing VS Code. And so why would they want to split resources to develop two editors? So I, I fully knew that when they bought GitHub that Atom was going to be on the chopping block. I don't know when the exact date is. It's sometime in December. I think it might've actually already passed, but they are going to archive the repository. There's gonna be no more core updates and obviously all of the maintainers for all of the packages for things that you found useful in Atom Editor is going to go away. They're not gonna update those anymore. I had also personally encountered some long running problems with Atom that I wasn't sure that they would ever get fixed. And obviously with them sunsetting the project, they were definitely not going to get fixed. That's the one problem is when a bug does crop up, that bug becomes permanent. My original plan was just to run Atom until the wheels fell off, but it just didn't really work out like that. So I decided to pull the trigger and jump into VS Code, learn it, and make that my new editor. The main reasons I was avoiding switching in the first place was simply because I don't like learning new editors. When I moved to Atom Editor from JetBrains WebStorm, it was very difficult. All the key bindings were different, it didn't look the same, didn't function the same, and I had a really bad time. So much so that I actually abandoned Atom for a little bit and I went back to WebStorm, but then I eventually switched back. The other big reason I was resisting switching from Atom is simply because VS Code is developed by Microsoft, and I'll talk more about that later. As far as my first impressions with VS Code, overall, I actually like it. There were a couple things about VS Code that made the transition from Atom basically a non-issue. And first, it was the ability to select the Atom theme. I like Atom 1 Dark. I was able to select that pretty much from the get-go, and VS Code at that point looked pretty much like Atom. The other thing is a lot of the stuff in VS Code is built in, whereas with Atom it had packages, so I actually didn't really have to hunt for a ton of packages to make it do the things that Atom used to do, it just kind of did it automatically. And then finally, VS Code's key bindings are almost identical to Atom, so I didn't feel like I had to learn a ton of new things. There were a couple key bindings that were different, but overall, not a big deal. This is kind of anecdotal. I know VS Code is an Electron app, same as Atom, but VS Code actually kind of feels faster than Atom, so I kind of like that. VS Code is also significantly more customizable as far as I can tell. And one of the things that I really liked was the command palette, the file selector, and I think like the symbol locator, or whatever the box is that drops down from the top and you can scroll through it with your arrow keys. I like how it's really small. It's really dense. You can see a lot on the screen. Adams was always really large. You can only see like four or five things, but with VS Code, you could see like 15. And I thought that was really good. There is some stuff about VS Code that I don't like. The most specific thing is that it's developed by Microsoft. And you know, when a big company develops something like this, it can be really good or really bad. In terms of resources and updates, they're probably going to maintain it. They're gonna do it fast. They're committing developers specifically to the VS Code project. And so that's overall good for the software itself. That said, Microsoft has a very long track record of being a business and doing things that are in the best interest of Microsoft, the business. And so what if one day they decide that people should pay them for VS Code? Then what, you know, who knows? The main reason why I'm not super concerned with that is because it still is an open source project, which means somebody could just fork VS Code, call it something else, and it would just be like old times. Obviously, they would have to maintain it, and it's a apparently a huge burden to maintain VS Code. I checked out their issue tracker the other day. They have like 180,000 closed issues, and there's still like 10,000 of them open. So it takes a lot of resources. So I don't know how a new team would, would do that. 
The Microsoft issue aside, there's only a couple of usability problems, some, some really silly stuff, like I still can't figure out how to make a file or a folder in the root of the workspace. You can't right click on it and add it. If you click on the plus button for the file or folder, it's going to make the file or folder next to the last file you clicked. So that's kind of weird. And I used to like to be able to just like drag a tab out of the window into its own window. And that's not something that's supported with VS Code. So that's kind of upsetting as well. But these are small things. I can get over them. Not a big deal. So finally, would I recommend VS Code? Um, yeah, sure. Despite my personal thoughts or biases on editors, I still subscribe to the idea that there is no best editor. As far as what is an individual best editor for somebody, it's going to be the editor that makes you the most productive and lets you get your job done in an efficient and comfy manner. I've never been overly tribal about editors and I don't typically advise people to be tribal about them either. Just use the thing that works best for you, whether that's VS Code, JetBrains, Vim, or something else. I guess that's it for the most part. Not really a big deal. Pretty easy to switch. Not a bad tool. Honestly, an upgrade over Atom, so I'm pretty happy overall. That's it for the video. If you are a former Atom user or a current VS Code user or just somebody who's interested in editors, maybe use something completely different, let me know below in the comments what you think. And specifically, if you're a current Atom user and you're not sure what to do, let me know below in the comments what your plans are. As always, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day or night and take care.